stage manager, we're basically in charge of the rehearsals. Uh, we're managing the rehearsal space and then the actor schedules. Um, it's a very specific job sa theater na sobrang wide nung uh, task and responsibilities niya. It changes from the first day of the, from the audition to the first day of rehearsals down to the opening of the show. It evolves. Pero that's basic. The, the most basic is um, managing the actors and the production. Mostly I work as a director and a stage manager. Uh, but I also do technical direction and production design. College days, uh, sa new era, I, aud I auditioned sa Dulaang Asilaw. Pero specifically for to, to be a director, not as an actor. So I guess dun, that's what I pursued all throughout. And then after two years, on my second year, nag summer workshop ako sa CCP, directing uh, workshop. And then that's when I decided na yun yung career na gusto kong i-pursue. You get to explore new worlds and new people. Um, mas nagiging in tune ka in observing behavior of people, and then you become more. Uh, you can empathize with more people. The more you read characters and plays, the more you read. It's it's a slice of life. Of sometimes these are the to yung mga these are the worlds you wouldn't normally encounter in real life. So, but what you learn from these characters, these um, situations are very valuable actually. Thanks to Bon. Um, kasi when, when you encounter problems at theater, you just have to solve it and then move on. You cannot wallow, otherwise hindi matatapos yung show. always challenging because you try to choose productions well at least I I try to um, accept projects that would push me to my limits or at least I try to do something I haven't done before in a theater production either I get to stage manage a full orchestra or you get to work with a certain actor that you've always admired difference with film and TV, I guess, sa theater, you get an instant reaction from the audience. You know exactly if they like it or if they don't like it, if they're really happy about it, if they were touched, because um, they're that close and it's actual time. So, so when they're happy with your work, the gratification is instant. Passion kasi... Even if I wasn't earning, tinuloy ko siya eh, in the beginning. So that's passion. And then as as I went along, um, you start to make career decisions already. So yun nga, like what I've said, what pushes you, what challenges you. Philippine theater arts, or at least the artists, are very resilient. Um, hindi madaling bumuo ng production sa Pilipinas. Um, we don't have um, enough government support. Um, hindi rin ganun kalaki yung audience na regularly nanonood ng theater. Or at least Philippine, uh, local works. So, for... But, every year, ilang productions yung binubuo and namamount. So, it only shows how resilient the theater the Filipino artists are, Filipino theater artists are. It's a very difficult situation, but we always find a way to, to come up with good productions. Maraming magagaling na designers and actors na lumabas sa theater arts. We have um, Writers who are national artists, designers who are national artists. Uh, we have really good actors who na, are na in theater. Na recently, like si Angeli Bayani, 
uh, we start. Uh, I remember working with her years ago. So next start in the theater. Just be very smart with your decisions, what productions you accept. Um, it's a viable um, career, actually. You can earn a living, a decent living, living from doing theater works. Uh, but you shouldn't forget uh, the art. Uh, it's not about the money, it's not about um, the fame. Um, it's really about creating a work of art. Uh, it's creating something that hasn't exi that never existed before. Um, it's a very challenging career financially, but it's very rewarding once you uh, once you get to that opening night, then and you hear the appreciative the appreciation of the crowd, then it always wipes out lahat ng ano, problems that you've encountered.